Jim Edwards here, join uh, post-match at Polaris 6 with uh, AJ Agazam, he faced Benson Henderson tonight. Um, AJ, I, I don't quite know where to start because that, that was a crazy match, that was high tempo, people falling off the stage, people falling off the side of the stage, like, um, what, what are your kind of reflections on the match now? I, I you know, he pushed the pace. And I st stood there right in the center of the, the mat and, and pushed the pace with him. Do I think that he should have earned that decision? No. I, I think based on just him pushing the pace alone, that's, that doesn't warrant a, a victory. I had more submission attacks, more position dominance. He went for takedowns, yeah, but uh, you know, I, I was more uh, the grappling-based game. So I, I think that it was a very close match. Um, we'll see again the next time. I can tell you're a bit kind of da you, downbeat. You, you obviously did lose, but um, do, do you still enjoy doing this at Polaris? You, you, you are Mr. Polaris. You've been on nearly e every single one. Yeah, I've been on every map, every Polaris, and uh, still the king. To, to take out the king, you have to submit him, and that's, that hasn't been done yet. They keep feeding me all these heavy boys. And I keep taking them, I keep stepping in, in, the, you know, in the middle of the mat with no fear and, and taking them on for the fans. And that's what I'll always do. There isn't a guy in my weight that wants to bring it on. Polaris is protecting Lloyd Cooper for some odd reason, but you know, every guy in my weight I've submitted. And uh, I'll continue to bring it no matter what. The king is still the king. Cooper, Cooper next. Uh, is that the next match you want? Whatever the fans want. You know, it, it wasn't even supposed to be on this card. But the fans brought me in and, and they wanted to see it, so that's why I'm here. Uh, that's it. So it's a love-hate relationship, obviously. A lot of the fans were being quite vocal w with you tonight, but still, there seems to be a lot more buzz when whenever you are associated with these cards. So is it that, it's a good thing, all right? These are my people. They, they, want, they, they love me, but they also want to see me dethrone, which I can appreciate. They want to see, they want to test me, they want to put me through the fire. Every single time I come out, I'm still, I'm still alive. Um, my, my usual field is mixed martial arts. I'm an MMA reporter. Like, is that something you're still interested in? Are we ever going to see you step inside a cage? I, I, I started with MMA. That's how I got into Jiu Jitsu. You know, eventually, I'll make my way back. Right now, I've just been focused on Jiu Jitsu, but I've been preparing for, for a big 2018. I hope that it involves a good MMA fight with a good promotion. So I'm, I'm just staying ready. Uh, fellow grappler uh, Gary Tonnell is he's going to be making his MMA debut. Well, what do you make of that? And do you see that as a fight that you could potentially have down the line? I don't know because I, you know Gary is a very good grappler, but he's he's got such a uh, unorthodox game that I don't know if it will translate very well to MMA. It'd be interesting to see um, how he he fares, but most of the time when you see guys with his game, it's very loose and it's, it's it, it, comprom it can compromise a lot of position in an MMA fight. Coming from an MMA a wrestling and MMA background, I think I, I would be more favored in in, uh, in an MMA fight, but. Um, We'll see. Uh, you just talked about there for you're gonna say uh, you said you can have a big 2018. Like, or, what does that involve? Like, or what are the goals you set yourself? It's just continue pushing the pace. I, I think it's it's really interesting. These guys that call themselves professional rappers and they have three or four matches a year, or where they pull out due to some flu or an injury, and it's just like, how can you consider yourself top tier? That's all you, you, you're taking less than 10 matches a year. I think last year I had. 30, 40 matches, and I'm always on you know, the, the top level circuits. We just came off a very positive ADCC championships, uh, and it's just, it, it's just for me, it's about pushing the needle and keeping, keep, keep going. Well, people always want to see see you uh, grapple here at Polaris, and uh, thanks again for coming to London, and no doubt we'll see you again very soon. Cheers, cheers, AJ.